going on guys? Welcome to another ride on my Honda Grom. Today we're going to head up to Rose Valley Lake, which is about 15 miles from my house. Pretty cool little lake to go visit. See what's happening there. Probably some boats out there. And it should be a pretty cool ride, something different than I normally do. One of my favorite places to be, and I haven't been up there for quite a while. So kind of looking forward to seeing what's going on and bringing you guys along for the ride. Sorry, man, I got a Grom. I can't uh, can't keep up with you. The speed limit is 45, and I'm I'm going 50. That's pretty good for a Grom. So really, I'm doing this ride to get me uh, more used to riding the Grom. I do love the Grom. I've been watching some videos of uh, crazy Grom riders. You know, one of them I commented on yesterday. I'm like, I don't know that ever, I'll ever be able to ride my Grom that good. Going around, knee dragging, having a lot of fun with it. But I think when it comes to any kind of bike, it doesn't matter what it is. You just got to be comfortable on it, have fun with it, and make sure you enjoy it. So I don't have to drag my knee. I think it looks fun, but I, right now, I don't ever see me as being a, a crazy Grom rider that goes around turns real fast yeah i don't know i don't know i used to think i would never do a wheelie and i still haven't but um uh, on this bike i kind of wonder whether i will the weather's amazing today other than the wind i mean it feels good riding the bike got my mesh jacket on the uh the temperature is only in the 80s today the air is going through the jacket really well i'm not sweating at all so it feels good That was a cool bike at the end. We either get a lot of waves or we get no waves at all. I don't care really. I'm a friendly guy but I don't have to wave to everybody and I don't get bent out of shape if somebody doesn't wave to me. For me riding the Grom is just sort of a, a fun thing to do. Something to break up regular stresses from life. Moo cows. Hey, moo cows, what's going on? Those are some nice looking cows, aren't they? We have a lot of gas wells in this area and known as the Marcella Shale because this is where uh, the heart of fracking is in Pennsylvania. It's right up in the hills where I live. I'm really impressed with how this Grom climbs hills. I mean, you know, we're climbing this hill in fourth gear. We're gaining speed. There's power to it. The gears are so usable in this, and I didn't expect that they would be. I guess the reason I didn't expect that the gears would be so usable is because when I had my Z125, I didn't feel that the gears really had the proper use out of them. Like first gear was like non-existent. Second gear didn't have enough power. Third gear was okay. And that bike only had four gears. Third and fourth gear wouldn't climb a hill real good like this Grom is doing. So I don't know what the previous generation Groms were like as far as uh, use of gears, because I never owned one or rode one. But I'm telling you that this new 2022 Grom has, these five gears are really good. It's actually a little bit chilly up here on the hill in the shade. A little bit chilly. Maybe it's just because it's been so hot. I mean, I don't have goosebumps or anything, but it's uh, the coolest bike ride I've had so far. Temperature wise. How about this view? Isn't it amazing? Good ride today though, I'm glad I came up here. The only thing that made me nervous about coming up here was really the fact that, um, you know, wildlife and 
I mean, I've seen turkeys walk in front of me coming up here. There's all kinds of crazy animals up here. So yeah, we're climbing this hill good. Fourth gear, 45 miles an hour. Speed limit's only 40. Good job, Grom. I'm such a proud Grom dad, you know? So proud of my Grom. Corn is really growing high this year. We've had a ton of rain, so uh, I think that's helped quite a bit. I mean, normally by now, the, the corn is being harvested by September. I don't know much about corn. You know, if you're a farmer out there and what I'm saying is wrong, leave a comment and tell me I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. But my assumption is that the corn is normally brown by now and they're starting to harvest it. But because of the rain we've had this year, it, uh, it hasn't been, it's kept everything a little bit greener. So we are coming up to the entrance here of the lake, and this is an area that I dislike because of the way the entrance is. It's a sharp turn right around here. Fortunately, there's no cars behind me. And there's usually gravel right here. Take it super slow. So you guys are gonna love this view. I think you're gonna love this view, I do. We're gonna go uh, across the bridge here that goes over the lake. And again, it is a small lake, but it's one of my favorite places to go. Dad and my brother are here today. Somewhere. Got a lot of little boats here today. I don't know if I recognize them. Guy taking pictures. A lot of times people see eagles along here. I would love to see one, as long as it doesn't fly in front of me for me to hit it. Just a beautiful little lake here on the hills of Pennsylvania. Got them. Here they are. My dad and my brother out there on a boat. My dad is 81 years old. And uh, get this, 81, well, he's not 81 yet. In, in October, a month from now, my dad is gonna turn 81 years old. So he is, uh, he still works full time. Like he has a full time job. He retired years ago and, and uh, he's a worker. He went back to work, he couldn't stand it. So 81 years old, he's out there fishing with my brother. Swan wants to ride the Grom. Go, little swan, go. <laughs> Porta potties, if you need to take care of that. Fortunately, I do not bump. Oh. I would love to have a house off of this lake. Like, look at this A-frame up here. Isn't that beautiful? And it doesn't flood. You know, you're actually up a hill a little bit here, so you don't have to worry about flooding. This is a cool road to ride on, though, isn't it? 
I think my dad and my brother were right around uh, somewhere around here. So I'm glad you guys came along for this adventure with me at Rose Valley Lake in my Grom. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done it already. Hopefully you have subscribed to my channel also. And check the description of this video because I have links to many of the accessories that I have installed on my 2022 Honda Grom there. So you can click on the links and see what I have installed on here and maybe purchase them for your own bike. That's all for this video. Thank you again for watching and bye-bye.